Now to vote 2016 vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine made a stop in South Florida. He was at Miami-Dade College in Liberty City. Now, Kaine spoke out in support of his running mate Hillary Clinton, of course, and he also went after Republican rival Donald Trump. Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore was there. Well, the Clinton Kane campaign dubbed this a city block party hosted by hip hop artists. And the message was to vote. This actually was the stage they used, so to speak. Tim Kane stood right here in the back of this truck. Without further ado, Tim Kane. Introduced by hip hop artist Pusha T, Democratic vice presidential candidate Senator Tim Kane came out rocking sunglasses. Hey guys, hey, Liberty hey, City. No Standing in the bed of a pickup truck and speaking to a crowd of about 100 people in Miami talking about the issues. Issue number one, Republican nominee Donald Trump. Just when you think that he can't go any lower, he's going lower and lower. And now adding to the insults is this horrible set of his comments. Kane referencing the recent controversy surrounding that leaked audio of Trump speaking disparagingly about women. And just this week, a number of other women coming forward with sexual assault allegations. The abusive way that he treats women. And I want to tell you on this, I'm offended. Everybody should be offended. But when he says, no, this is just locker room talk. This is just what men do. Hey, hold on a second. Kane's visit coming just a day after GOP vice presidential candidate Governor Mike Pence spoke in Miami at a party fundraiser, only addressing the controversy like this. And in the midst of daily and unsubstantiated attacks on my running mate, it's easy to lose sight that this election really is about big things. Kane, meanwhile, keeping to the campaign promises to maintain women's health rights, education, and immigration reform, and pushing voters to register to vote with the deadline in Florida extended. We're here because you are important. Miami's important. Florida's important. And no doubt, Florida, a big part of this presidential election. In fact, Kane said he had been to Miami alone five times since he was named the vice presidential candidate. In Liberty City, Derek Shore, Local 10 News.